When you publish PDFs in Vectorworks, you have the option to rasterize the PDF. What on earth does this mean? That's what this movie is going to be all about, showing you the difference between a rasterized PDF and a vector-based PDF. That's the two differences. So I'm going to publish this, and then I'm going to show you the difference between these two PDFs. Yes, I want to do that. And I'm going to publish. So now that we've got our files, and I've got one here, which is the vector-based PDF, which is the one I created in the last movie. And it's very crisp, very clear. If I zoom in, you'll see that my text is still really clear and my dimensions are really clear. Let's have a look at the raster-based PDF. Now, I think you might notice that it's starting to look just a little bit fuzzy. When I start zooming in, you'll notice that it's definitely got fuzzy edges to all of the text and my dimension lines. Let's just show that again. There it is there. I've zoomed right into that one. Let's zoom even closer. And you can definitely see this clear, this fuzzy edges to all the stuff. So this is a vector-based PDF, and it's crisp, always crisp. And this is a raster-based PDF. The closer you get, the more fuzzy it looks. So that's the difference between a raster-based PDF and a vector-based PDF. Now, there is another fundamental difference. So let's just import some of those drawings into Vectorworks. Now, I've started with a brand new blank file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import those PDFs into this drawing. I'm just going to import one drawing. So first of all, I'm going to import my raster file. And I just need page three. So three from three. Let's import that. Show annotations if you want. Snap to geometry. And there's my first file there. So let's import the vector-based one now. Let's import that vector one. This is page three to page three. We'll import those again. And we've got those two files. Now, they look really similar until you start zooming in. You know, so it looks like a stack of bricks. So what's the other thing that can happen? Now, in this particular one, I can't snap to my design. In the vector-based one, I can snap to all the components of my design. So it's really easy to trace over a vector-based PDF. But there's another thing that we can do with a vector-based PDF that you can't do with this one. So first of all, we can't snap to it, which makes it difficult when we're drawing or tracing over our drawings from a surveyor. If they're not vector-based PDFs, it makes it difficult to trace over. This one is. So let's ungroup it. I'm going to go uh, Apple U or Command U. I'm going to, which is the same as Control U on a Windows machine. So what have I got now? I've got a page. I've got an image, a bitmap, but what else have I got? I've actually got a series of lines. This is a group. Let's ungroup that further, ungroup it some more. And you'll see now I've actually got individual lines and polygons. And all of this has come out of my PDF file, which makes it very easy for me to draw over the top or edit this file and change it. Now, if you do give your client vector-based PDFs, it is possible for somebody else to open up those PDFs and start to make changes to them. Now, it might be that you have to give them vector-based PDFs because if, you, if your client is using something like Bluebeam, you must give them vector-based PDFs. Otherwise, a lot of the Bluebeam functions will cease to work. So I hope that explains the difference between a vector-based and a raster-based PDF. If we ungroup this one, we really don't get much. All we end up with is this bitmap. I hope that helps to explain the difference between vector-based PDFs and raster-based PDFs. And I hope you learned something from it. So if you're not already a subscriber, please become a subscriber. Hey, if you really like this, don't forget to give me a super thanks or become a member of my website where you get access to movies like this, but you also get access to webinars every month, five webinars a month. That's heaps. And those webinars are interactive. You get to ask me questions. There's nothing else like this around. So if you want to learn Vectorworks well, join me. Thanks for watching.